Despite modest first appearances, this cow has one of the lamest and most troublesome feet I've ever featured on the HoofGP YouTube channel. This is a very graphic video guys, so if that's not your cup of tea, switch off right now. For the rest of you, enjoy the drum. After trimming just over 50 cows and barely having any problems whatsoever, this cow saved herself till the end. She's come in with an incredibly sore front right foot, and as you can see straight away, she was already bleeding from the heel of this foot. Her feet are incredibly dry, which means they're also incredibly hard. That's because, because she's been in pain, she's been on a sawdust bedded pen for the past week while she's received pain medication until I could arrive at the farm and treat her. So that's exactly what we're going to do. During this trim, you'll see it go from being bad to worse to really bad. And then it gets unbelievably bad. This is a seriously graphic trim. I don't cut into any flesh whatsoever, but as you can see, it's already bleeding. So as we uncover more loose and detached horn, it only gets worse. This is an extremely graphic video, guys. So if you don't like that kind of thing, now's your chance to tune out. Because her feet are so dry and so hard, I alternate between using the knife and the grinder. I use the grinder to take away the bulk of the material, because using the knife and having to put so much force through it can actually be a little bit dangerous, because when you're pushing so hard on a knife, it can slip and then cause unwanted cuts and damage to the cow's foot. So as you can see, we pare away very carefully with the grinder until we need the knife to do the finer details of the trim. We bovie bond a plastic block onto the cow's foot to lift the sore digit off the ground. Plastic blocks are great because they can last a much longer amount of time than a wooden one, and this is going to take some time to heal. Once the block's in place, we really get stuck in about this trim, and as you can see, things are starting to look a little worse. For anybody wondering, yes, this absolutely stinks. The whole of this cow's foot is infected with digital dermatitis. That's why it's got that kind of granular look about it. And it's why the sole has completely separated away from the corium. See, I touched it there. I didn't cut it. I literally touched it and it's bleeding. As you've just seen, trimming a cow's foot like this is incredibly hard. I literally touched the corium with the back of my knife and it began to bleed. There was no cutting involved, no grazing, no slicing, no accidents. I just touched the corium and it began to bleed because of that deep infection of digital dermatitis. Regardless of how hard it is to do, we still need to make sure we remove all of that loose and disconnected horn, as you can see me doing now. It's actually a really satisfying process, but it's also a vital one if we're ever to truly heal this cow's foot, which by the way, I'm confident we can. All of the stuff I've removed has completely been detached from her corium. This is her corium here showing through. It's completely infected with digital dermatitis, but we're going to fix that. Spraying the foot down with iodine like this will help to kill any of the bugs that are on the surface and it'll help penetrate into that dermatitis and kill the outer layers of the skin. So this is Embryonic's magical paste and you guys always Ask me in the comments, do I still use it? Yes, I do. On probably big problems like this, so we've got white line abscess going on, and it's covered in digital dermatitis. So this will help both of those things heal. And I want to make sure it's pushed all the way into all of those sore bits. Wrap it up. 
I've trimmed over 50 cows today, and this is only really the second one that's got any sort of problem. The other one was a very minor ailment. It just goes to show the level of commitment these farmers have to caring for their cows. And just like that, this cow is over and done with, and we'll be revisiting her in two weeks' time to see what progress she's made.